Four heartbreaking words for any parent to hear from a child. I'm going to die. Can you imagine? That's one of the last text messages a victim sent to his mom before he was brutally murdered in the Orlando terrorist attack. We're also learning more about the other 48 innocent victims, one as young as 19 years old, slaughtered so senselessly at a gay nightclub that the owner describes as a place of acceptance and love for the LGBT community. Saturday night was going to be a night of friendship and fun for Pulse clientele such as 34-year-old Edward Sotomayor Jr. and 25-year-old Amanda Alviar, capturing these moments on social media, not knowing those posts would be their last. They are just two of the 49 victims killed in the terrorist rampage. For survivors, horrifying recollections remain all too vivid. People are running, glasses are getting dropped, and then, you know, people are passing me, like, I'm getting covered in blood from other people. It went with the beat almost until you heard just too many shots. It was just like, bang, bang, bang. There was about 20 to 30 people trying to push themselves through a very small cabinet-looking door. Louis Burbano escaped with his friend, never looking back at the murderer coming towards them. I didn't even want to look back. I didn't, why? To look at them, that would be the last thing I see in my face and the last memory I have. That's not something I want to remember. Clubgoers hid from the terrorist in restrooms and dressing rooms, huddling together, hoping to survive. He said he was going to die and he loved me. That's the last thing I heard. Just after 2 a.m., Mina Justice received these texts from her son, Eddie. Mommy, I love you. In club, they shooting, trap in the bathroom. Calling them now, she wrote back. Then messages from Eddie kept coming. He has us, and he's in here with us. And then, I'm going to die. Eddie's mother spoke to news crews as she waited outside for her son. I think something happened. Nothing. Eddie Justice did not make it out alive. The murdered range in age from 19 to 50. Retail workers, accountants, bartenders, journalists, students, bright futures extinguished in a hate-filled terrorist attack. You stole a lot of people away from their families. Some club goers were lucky or shot, but saved because of the fast work of others. On the way to the hospital, um, the officer had him lay on top of me, and I had to bear hug him. Nursing student Josh McGill helped a man with multiple gunshot wounds outside the club, telling him what he needed to hear to stay calm. I promise you, God's got this. Uh, you'll be okay. And I was mainly scared. I was like, God, please don't let me hit my brick, I promise. As of now, that man is alive, and the promise to overcome lives on as well. We're standing up and we're fighting. That's all we can do. All we can do is fight. That's it for The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper.